In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Java P2 to create key stores, public private key stores. So Java has this simple command key to, uh, to do this key generation, uh, export import keys and print the certificates and so on. Java has simple tool called key tool to do those things. So when you install the Java and then type key tool, you may see whether it works. It has several commands as you may see, uh, create certificate request, uh, delete, export, import, uh, list, print certificates, uh, and so on and so on. So let's start with creating your key pair. Creating your key pairs using this tool. So if you want to create key pairs, you type key tool, and then minus gen key, says generate the key, and then use alias. Uh, that is a nickname for the index to access your keys in this key store. So maybe I will use my name for that. And you can give a key algorithm using a parameter for key algo. So I want to use RSA keys and then you can name a key store. Key store is the file where we are going to store the keys. If you don't use this, uh, your keys will be stored in the default key store that is usually under your home directory and dot key store file. And the home directory, it will create a file called dot key store. That is the default file. So if you want to have your own, uh, you can give a name of the file with the path. So, so here I just say create a file in the current directory. So, first time when you enter that, it has a password to protect this file. So you have to do your password twice. Then it has the uh, information about yourself uh, to create these keys. Actually, Java key tool will create the keys and create what they what we call it as self-signed certificate to your key. That means your public key will be signed by your private key and issue what we call it as self-signed public key certificate. So in order to generate that, so you have to give your information. So I say my name is also Desiree, and organization name UCSC. Organization is Karambu. Uh, my skip that. I skip that. <coughs> and my country is Sri Lanka. So then uh, it prompts, it shows those information which I entered and prompt me to confirm that. So there I say yes. So then it created a RSA key pair and generate self-signed certificates for me. So when you look at the current directory, you see there is a file for key created. So I give that name here. You can give any name to this. So then you can see the entries of this file using key tool minus key, minus list, minus key. So key. So when you give that command, it has a password for accessing this file. If you give a correct password, it lists the entries in the file. So you see it has only single entry, that is my key, which I just created. So in case you want to take the public key out from that key store and give it to someone else, so you can you can export it using this tool. You say key tool minus export 
and then you give a nickname of your key pair. Uh, it's cousin, and then key store name. So it's key, and then you need to give a how to file name. So let's say my key dot key. So it has a password to access the key store. So you see it's create the file called DER. So when you look at the directory now, it has now public key stored here in a binary format. And my public and private keys in the key store. So that format, usually the Java format called Java key store format, JKS format, Java key store format. So if you want to see the content of such uh, public key certificates, key tool has a command called key store minus print set. And then you need to give a file if you want to print, that is my key.tdr. When you print that, you may see the self-signed certificate created just now using my uh, key to minus 10 command. So when you look at that, you see here, owner and the issuer are the same. So that is self-signed certificates. So usually if you want to use uh, these keys for real practical applications, you cannot use self-signed certificates. Instead of, you have to get a certificate uh, from a trusted certification authority. So in case, if you want to get a certificate from a certification authority, what you have to do is, from this key file here, JKS key file here, you have to create a public key certificate request. You have to use in the keys in this file, key file, and create what we call it as public key certificate request. So that request we can submit it to a commercial certification authority. If you want to create such public key certificate request out of these keys you have in this key store, you need to execute a command as follows you say key tool and then say set request and then you need to give alias name this is person and then uh, key store name it's key and then uh, output file name then we say uh, and we set request so always we have to give a password to access this case store so you see after i given the command there is a file key created set request to p this is a text format privacy announcement format usually it refers to so when you have a look on that, you see it's a text file. It has what we call it as certificate request. The binary uh, data format finally encoded into uh, PEM. So with this format is recognized by any commercial certification authority. They need the certificate request in this particular format. You can submit those to any commercial CAs and then commercial CS might issue a certificate for you. And then you can get the certificate back and then uh, can import back to your uh, JKS key store. So I, in order to simulate that, uh, I use my own certification authority for that uh, I have some scripts uh, available in my uh, GitHub, so I clone that uh, this repository uh, from the uh, uh, to this directory. Uh, GitHub, custom this is a open SSL A dot G. 
so my this is yet directory has a set of scripts uh, so i have created a video maybe you have seen that before uh, to run your own ca using open ssl so using those scripts so what i now going to do run that simple certification authority by using open ssl and use that certification authority to certify the certificate request created by the key tool so in order to run that script i have to change the mode uh, change mode of the script file to executable change mode right now scripts are in the executable mode so i first run the create CA script to create a certification. So it has a password to protect the private key of the certification authority first. I use country name. Uh, so those parameters within the brackets are default. So I'm using those default parameters for simplicity and I call it as UCSC certification authority. In the common name, I give the name of the certification authority skip the email so this creates a self-signed certificate for the certification authority and this is the private key of the certification authority this one encoded in this pm format and finally uh, i have set up a very simple certification authority so that authority can use to issue a certificates uh, i have given two scripts uh, to create certificate for web servers and create a certificate to the end users. So now what I try to do is create a certificate by using the certificate request. So, so those certificate requests generated using the key tool. So you remember that it is in this directory. So this is my certificate request. So I copy that to the certificate request to my OpenSSL CE. Similarly, if you going to if you want to get a certificate from a commercial CA, you have to submit it using the online form. Uh, so so I am running my own local CA. I just copied it to the this directory. So in this directory has now the certificate uh, request. So where is it? <coughs> Certificate uh, request this one. So based on that, I can actually uh, generate a public certificate. So for that, open SSL, we have to use the, this command. You say open SSL, open SSL, and then say CA. After that, we say minus config and give a configuration file of the OpenSSL. And then we say out is my certificates. This is kasun.pmsa. And then input files, uh, uh, certificate request. So you then this open SSL command will read the certificate request and certify it using the CA is just created. For that, it need to access my uh, private key. It has a password to access it. So I have given the password. <coughs> right. So it now generated the certificate uh, for me. So I said CA digitally signed it and then say yes it committed into the, the simple certificate database plus it create a file for custom pm so when you look at that it is a public key certificate in text format in the top it has the printed version so here, here you see 
it issues University of Colombo CA, which is just I created uh, in a minute, issued two Hassan designs. So that is, this key is created by the key tool. So this is encoded for me. All right. So then I need to, in real situation, I need to download this public key certificate issued by a commercial CA into my key tool directory. So since I'm demonstrating it in local, I just copy this uh, local directory. I just copy this certificate which just I created <coughs> by open CA to my key tool directory. So let's see it. Right. And then I go back to this. So you see, now I have a public key certificate. Yeah. So now I'm going to import that into the Java or the JKS e store. In order to do that, first of all, I need to import the certification authority public key as trusted pu public key into this key store. So in my simple open SSLCA, so there is a directory called SSLCA under that. I'm storing the public key certificate of this particular certification authority. If you get a commercial certificate from the commercial certification authority, we have to obtain the self-signed certificate of such that commercial certification authority and import that into this JKS key store. So you have now several files. So this is the certification authority of UCSC. So this is the certificate request created by the key tool. So this is the certificate issued by this uh, University of Columbia certification authority based on this request, right? So this is basically self-signed certificate which was uh, created previously using the key tool. Now I'm going to write that actually in there, right? So, so what I need to do then so I have to import, uh, I have to import, uh, first I have to import uh, certification authority self-signed public key certificates to the my key store. For that key tool has command key tool minus import. And then I need to say, I want to import it as trusted CA certificate. So the option for that is trust, uh, trust uh, CA sets. And then I using, yes, I need to give a nickname. I say it's a root certificate. That is my CA certificate. File is, this is, and my key store is key. Right, key tool import the CS at PM into this key store called key. So when I type that, it has a password to access the key store. I have given it. So you see, it shows the certificate is just about to import and ask the confirmation from me. So I say yes, it is imported into the key store called key. Now it should have two entries. First one is the self-signed certificates. Other one is the CA certificate, which I just imported. Let's run key tool minus this command to see that. And key. So you see it lists down now the entries. So this is root certificate, fingerprint of the root certificate. This is the fingerprint of the self-signed certificate or the public private key entries I just created, right? So now what I would like to do is import the certificate issued by a CA. Certification authority usually give the certificates in the text format. 
So there is a command in OpenSSL to convert the text certificate into binary. So command is OpenSSL x509 and you give out form is DER. So this is binary format. And then my input is this. And then I need to out it using into binary format or what you call it as DER format. So this OpenSSL command read the text certificate format and convert it into the binary format. So you might see now this is binary format. Same certificate in the binary format. Yourself, I should not use this trusted set. It, it is trusted CA set to store in the trusted certification authority certificate. So I'm just importing a regular certificate. For that, I don't need to give this. So this command, let me clarify. And this is uh, this parameter is wrong. I made a mistake. So this command here is used to import the certificate of certification authority. So I did that. So after that, what I would like to import is my certificate. For that, there are no trusted CA option. Say key to import uh, the nickname and the file to be import to which key is stored. So when I execute that, it actually import the DR format certificate to the keys. Since I already imported, it throws the exception. So now I can run uh, uh, key to minus uh, list see the entries uh, so you see there are two entries right so this is the root certificate and this is the certificate which just <coughs> imported right so now you can uh, export it Previously, I exported it to call my PDER, you remember. Let me export that certificate back again uh, using uh, key tool command, key tool minus export command. Export. And then give me a custom and key. So it's uh, key and then file is, uh, I say, Carson, uh, uh, maybe I say my key to dot the so. so it exported now. So, so it exported back. I import and export to see whether it works right so maybe i can print that uh, exported one to see whether that is the key certificate which we create using my key. so you see uh, it is the certificate which we just created oh nice me right and then organization is CA is this. So that's the same certificate. So you see, it is overwrite the previous one. In the previous certificate, the self sign. So, so if this one, when you look at this, uh, this is owner and this is issuer, self sign. But I want to show you using key tool when you just create a key pair entry, it automatically creates a self sign certificate. So what I demonstrated to you is basically generating a certificate request out of this certificate created by the key tool. And then we submit that to the CA and obtain a public key certificate and 
import that into your keystone. After importing that, you have a certificate issued by this particular CA. You see it's a different entry now with that keystone. So with this, actually, you have a complete keystone. So I generated that keystone in the format of JKS Java keystone. So that uh, that key store actually has the uh, public key certificate issued by the external certification authority. So that's how we can uh, create a key store file, create uh, generate public key certificates from the external party and import it to these key stores. So those keys then to, can be used in your child programs to digitally signed messages or to encrypt the data and so on in your Java applications. In addition to that, there's a simple tool available called Java Signer. Using that, you can digitally sign some documents without using a program. So let's see how we can do that. Maybe we copy some files. I think we have a file somewhere in there. Increment. Well, local directory. Right? So when you look at that now, there is a file called agreement. So assume we want to digitally sign this agreement. Obviously, we can do that using, uh, we can write a Java program and executing this Java program, you can access this key store and then digitally sign that. Without doing so, you can just use uh, another two, two tools available with Java to do so, to, do, to digitally sign. How do you do that? If you want to sign any document, any class file or package file or any document uh, using these keys stored here, first of all, you need to create a, what we call it as Java file. The command to do that is jar minus CVF and then give a, maybe I'll say, agreement your jar. File we want to add is agreement R. So it create a file in the jar format. Jar is a kind of command. We type that. You see, uh, maybe jar helps. Show all the options. This is a simple compression tool which used by the Java to create packages, class uh, uh, packages, all right? So you can list the content of these archives uh, using char minus df and give a file name. So when you give that command, you see, this is the content of a particular job. Have a look on that. It has a directory called meta information. Under this meta information directory, it has a file called manifest file. That describes the, the configuration. So whatever is JavaScript. And this, then this is the compressed file in this package. Agreement. So using this jar command, we have created this agreement. Now how can we sign? So we can sign that digitally using jar sign command. So when you want to uh, use jar signer, first of all, you need to give a key store. Key store is key. Then you need to uh, a given uh, file to be signed. A file to be signed. 
So that is agreement.jar. And then you have to give which key they are to use. So nickname of the key. So me, my key player is called password. So then we have to give a password to access this key store which we just created. So you see it's created this jar file. So there was a warning, it says there are no timestamp and so on. So you can ignore the warning, but it says signs. So you can uh, list the uh, jar file to see whether it's signs. When you list now back, you see it is added two files into the meta information directory. And previously it has only the manifest file. Now it has the file called Kasun SF and Kasun RSA. Kasun RSA is the public key of me, that is public key of a signer, and Kasun SF is the data signature. Data signature of these files, maybe more than one files. Yeah, my example, only one file. So maybe we can have more than one files in some other examples. So this is the signature of the files in the archive. And this is the public key to be used to verify this archive. How do you verify that? You use the same command jar signer with option minus verify and give the jar name. When you give that, it's automatically say verified and it shows some warnings uh, since it could not build the certification, blah, 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 blah. You ignore that. So, so basically in the very simple, it verified. So this jar signer, usually we use jar signer to create digitally signed Java archives. And using the same tool, we can verify those archives. So, this uh, ends the simple demonstration where I show you how to create a JKS keystone. JKS keystone. Uh, there are different formats of the keystone. The other format is called as PKCS 12 keystones. So, standard. Format to storing public private keys are the PKCS 2A or P12 stores, we call it as. Uh, some systems use extension called PFS to such key stores. So Java use JKS format. However, this data signer, as well as this key store, key tool commands, also support. P12 key stores or PKCS 2L type key stores as well. Using OpenSSL, you can uh, create a, a P12 key store which has your keys and the CA certificates and so on. Uh, so, my some other demo OpenSSL, see, you will remember I show that you can show it in a minute in this demo as well. So, I have a script called create. Uh, use a set PM. When I execute that, it created certificate for myself. So maybe I give a name called Nimal uh, to make it different from, from the other certificate. So that's the password to access my CA private key and my say permitted. Yes. Uh, then it has a password to. Password uh, to be entered uh, to protect this P12 file or what you call it as PFX key store. When you look at that directory, so this is the key store in this PKS where PKS is 12 format. It call it as PFX key store or the PKS is 12 format key store. So maybe I can copy that file. Uh, sorry, uh, to this. 
CP. So there is a file in the other directory, I guess. Uh, sorry, I won't copy it to the root directory double dot. So I go to the root directory P2. So this is US, US, US PFS. So that created by the open, my OpenSSL command, it's a different key store format. So this is in the JKS format. Actually, key store plus uh, the JAS idea understood all the formats. Maybe I type uh, JAS idea, JAS idea, and I can using store type option. Store type option. I can tell the Java which type of key store I'm going to use. So if I want to use this store, I have to give the store type PKCS2. And then the store name is then user PFX. And nickname of this key which is stored in this key store is actually my key. And then what I want to sign is agreement.jar. Sorry, say it again. my key. Need to enter password to access that. You see, it's signs again. So, in that, I am using the public private key of this other person. Right? So, you can. Uh, verifies that using now uh, JASIN minus verified. So it tells about it's verified. You can get the certificates inside that using JASIN uh, minus verified minus the Sense. So then it shows all the certificates in this job. So you see here, the certificate used to sign is now NIMA, right? Issued by the same CA, if not custom NIMA, because I use the piece to this one. This keys Jar signer is capable for access any type of key store, JKS or PKCS2. Uh, even not the not only the Jar signer, even uh, key tool understood this public PKCS2 format, for example. So I can type key to minus store type, store type, pkcs 2 m and then say key so, and uh, then maybe I use key to minus this command. PKCS to store that is used to be in this. Sorry, I made a mistake. The password of PFX store. You see, it it key tool can access it. Here I issue the command and ask to list the PFX. Key tool also understand the PKCS2 format. It says store type is PKCS2. Previous versions of Java, key tool command usually create a key store in the PKS format. Now, their default key store become PKCS2 standardized. 
So because of that, we don't need to use this key store type anymore, I guess. So then I can just give this as well. So it recognizes the USF, UPFX file as well. So you see it recognizes and says these two PKC is to welcome key store. So as I mentioned, standard type to store those keys are PKC is to and format. Previously, Java was using their own format called JKS, Java key stores. It seems now Java switched to this uh, PKCS12 format. So that is the standard anyway. So in this demo, what I show you, how to create public key, private keys, plus certificates using the Java tool that called it as key tool. And how to use that keys to digitally sign documents. So you understood. So we can create keys using OpenSSL. So I uh, I demonstrated it in a separate video. So similarly, we can create keys using Java key tool. So if you wish, you can use Java programs to generate keys as well. So in other video, I will show you how to write Java programs to access those key stores which created by using key tools and as well as using open SSL. Both are on the same format. The Java programs will recognize them and can retrieve the keys from those key stores. Okay, with that, I will conclude the demo. So you, I think you understood how to use key tool.